Hey, this is Ruben Lowing. It's Tuesday morning. I'm waiting for the uh, builder's call. Uh, been busy this morning. Just had a uh, no-show for a Zoom meeting with uh, Bernadette from a realtor, which is really odd because the realtor is the one that, like, do you want to get on Zoom? <laughs> I've been trying to reach her. Um, but I was watching um, the... Uh, Continuous Sales Improvement Podcast with uh, Harry Newhan, and he had Ali Yunis um, on, who's from the mortgage background, okay, and he he talked about how when he first started, he was a, he was a standout right away, okay, he had good rapport with people, he did a really good job building relationships with them, so they made him a manager. And then his team was really didn't do really well. What it, what it was is he was doing, the, he was closing for his team. He was making them lazy-minded. And he had to learn how to teach them how to do it. Now, it's something that's really interesting is when you have somebody who is right out of the gate good, then it's really hard for them to teach what they do to somebody else, especially when they, they learned it when they were too young to realize how they learned what they're learning. Perfect example is Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. had his first fight when he was eight years old. So there's all kinds of things that he learned to do before he was ever understood how he did it, how to do it. And, you know, and we work really closely together, and you know there was there was things that that I learned from him more from watching him. His dad would like fill my mind with all this technique and and physics behind everything that we did, and I'd be like totally confused. And I would get up in the ring and be doing the shadow boxing with Roy Jr. and I could see how he was doing, with, implementing what his father told me to do, and I could model that. And, uh, and, and Roy could, uh, Roy Jr. could get you to understand how to feel the right way doing what, you know, doing it the right way, okay, knowing how it felt right. And that was something, okay, because that's how he went. He had to feel right. And now, the trick is, is he, this, this manager, that um, that Ali had was look at what he asked him. What do you think? What do you think's the problem here? And he like he knew he didn't he didn't he he didn't know he couldn't told him he didn't know what he was doing wrong. So he had to analyze what he did and, and come back. Okay, this is what you got to do. All right. Now there's so much to that. I'm, I'm listening to um, I love Eric Lawholm. Okay. Eric Laughlin was talking about, he's listening to David Goggins and he's running, you know, these 100 mile races and he's pushed him. And David, and here, Eric's got a hard time, you know, running 15 minutes. All right. And I'm like, oh, okay, I've, I've run 100 miles. I was actually, about two years ago, I was like, David Goggins run like 50 miles a week. I was feeling great. Um, I could do, you know, I can do craziness. I, I just did, you know, Three sets of 25 pull-ups. I'm 58 years old, right? Um, I had two, had two mile run. I'll run four miles tomorrow. But I went through a period for my knees. So I'm like, two years ago, I'm like David Goggins lookout, and I was just walking, and my knee went doing, right? And that caused me to really hone um, my diet and nutrition, and, and and there's still things I need to do. I need to do way more stretching than I do, right? The um, but. You know, he's, still, he's talking, you know, I listen to David Goggins, and I know David Goggins. I've met David Goggins. I was actually trying to bring David Goggins to the Rio Grande Valley. And, uh, you know, he's he gets paid way more than they want to pay down here. And it's, it was it didn't work out. Okay. But uh, there's that mindset of pushing yourself. Okay. And you can push yourself you can drive yourself into the ground okay the trick is is learning 
to make that little adjustment that, that sends you down the down the track. Okay, it's like you're hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall, and you take a step to the left to the right and go through the door. Okay, and that's what you've got to get good at helping people to make that little adjustment that makes them takes them from being frustrated to being successful. Okay. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to find that for me. Okay. And uh, how does this happen? How does this happen? I get somebody that, you know, good to go. They actually called for the Zoom meeting, right? And then they didn't show. How does that happen? Right? Well, you know, I met her in a parking lot about before COVID happened and got her card and called her back and you know, hey, how's it going? And, you know, we don't really know each other that well. We don't know each other. That's the big thing. you got to get to know people. That's why these Zoom or these uh, videos, people get to know what, what's, how I think and how I am, you know. And when you do the things you love to do, that you're good at doing, people get to see your real character. People get to see how you are. That's always a good idea when you're marketing. Do what you love because you're probably pretty good at it. And there's a lot of people that want to be as good as you are. And when you help them, you know, and they hear your expertise expertise in that area, they blanket overlay that level of competence in everything that you do. So it's always good to do what you love to do. All right. Have a good day.